Hi, I'm Gemma. Welcome to Create Studio. Well, not the studio of my home, but Create Studio in spirit. Um, today we have a creating at home project that's lots of fun and great for taking in different directions to make other projects out of. We are making pom-poms and um, I'm sure in our lifetimes we've all done pom-poms before. I've tried them a lot of different ways and I really like the simplicity of doing it this really basic way. Um, then you can use to incorporate into a banner or um, make keychain fobs out of or little characters with googly eyes out of, any number of things that you want. So what we need is yarn. I have just a big mess of yarn that I'm going to use and we need our hands. So we're going to take the yarn and I'm just going to hold the yarn um, across my four fingers. When it's younger kids and smaller hands, you could probably even go across like the whole hand. The, the more of it you use, the bigger your pom-pom will be. And then we're just going to wrap. I'm going to wrap around my fingers. We're going to wrap around 50 times. I don't know how to do the speed setting on the camera, so you're just going to have to wrap with me. And we're going to wrap and wrap and wrap. Get some tangles. Holy cow. Life has tangles. And we're going to wrap, wrap, wrap. The more you wrap around, you don't want to wrap too tight, of course, because then you could cut off circulation to your hand. But you're going to wrap around, I would say, easy 50 times, if not more. You know, the thicker, the more times you go around, the better, the thicker your pom-pom is going to be. And you're wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. For the sake of argument, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to pull it carefully on my fingers, off my fingers, so it's like a donut. And then I'm going to cut another string. I'm going to lay it down to do the next part. Um, if I don't have fancy camera footwork. Uh, I'm going to cut an extra piece that's pretty long and what I'm going to do is take my donut and I'm going to turn it and lay it flat since I'm not laying it flat and I'm holding it up. I'm going to try this and I'm wrapping it out so we're going to put, we're squishing our donut and we're putting a belt around its waist and we're just going to tie that up so it's really as tight as we can have it. Could also be a hair bow um, and I'm gonna put it down to tie my knot tight as you can and then I want to keep these two strings that I put on as a belt I want to keep those separate and then I'm gonna cut into the loops that we made so you have a set of loops on each side and I'm just gonna cut those open making sure you get all of your um, all your loops cut. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side and I don't need these strings to be long. Those were part of the original wrapping and I'm going to cut. You can also put these on gifts. They look super fun. So if you have some yarn, like if you're a knitter or a crocheter and you have extra yarn and you just don't, it's not enough to do a project with, uh, for knitting or crocheting, make pom-poms. Then the best part, I think the part kids like a lot, is you get to dip, give it a haircut. So you're just going around and shaping it. You can make it shorter and smaller, or you can leave it bigger and wider um, and looser. It's kind of a personal thing. And then because you have this long string, you can attach it to other things. So you can tie it onto that banner or around keychains or anything you want. Hope you like this project, making pom-poms today. We'll see you again soon. I hope you have a great time. Bye.